November 2nd, St. Malachi Bishop. During his childhood, Malachi would often separate himself from his companions to converse with God in prayer. At the age of 25, he was ordained priest. His devotion and zeal led to his being consecrated Bishop of Connor, and shortly afterwards he was made Archbishop of his native city. This see having by a long-standing abuse been held as an heirloom in one family, it required on the part of the saint no little tact and firmness to allay the dissensions caused by his election. One day, while St. Malachi was burying the dead, he was laughed at by his sister. When she died, he said many masses for her. Sometimes afterwards, in a vision, he saw her, dressed in mourning, standing in a church, and saying that she had not tasted food for thirty days. Remembering that it was just thirty days since he had last offered the adorable sacrifice for her, he began again to do so, and was rewarded by other visions, in the last of which he saw her within the church, clothed in white, near the altar, and surrounded by bright spirits. He twice made a pilgrimage to Rome, to consult Christ's vicar, the first time returning as papal legate amid the joy of his people, but the second time, bound for a happier home, he was taken ill and died at age 54, where he fain he would have lived in St. Bernard's Monastery on the 2nd of November, 1148. Our Lord said to St. Gertrude, God accepts every soul you set free, as if you had redeemed him from captivity, and will reward you in the fitting time for the benefit you have conferred.